Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be learning how to do the Miramasa GIF effect. And if you haven't checked out Miramasa's music video for What If I Go, I definitely recommend checking it out because they use this GIF effect throughout the video and they use it very creatively, it's really good. So I'll have that link down below for you guys to check out. Okay, so what's usually recommended to make this effect is the Nishika N8000, which is a film camera, but since we do not have that film camera, Today, we're gonna be learning how to do it with a regular DSLR. Okay, so here's some example shots that I've taken using the technique we're gonna be learning today. Okay, so to help me with today's video, I have my friend Nijoni and Jason. So let's get straight to it. So the first thing I recommend is to shoot in manual mode. The reason why is because we're gonna be taking at least two shots and you don't want your lighting to fluctuate when you're going back and forth to those shots. It makes it harder when you post process it to match them exactly the same. And when you do that GIF like that, it'll throw it off if it's not matching. So once you have your composition, like you have a model right here, composing your shot, you can either shoot this vertical or horizontal. It's your preference on your composition. So once you've taken your test shot, it's now time to move on to the second step, which requires a lot more strategy. So for this, what you want to keep in mind is that you want to stay along the same plane and same height because if you move forward or backwards it'll throw off the gif and if you crouch or even tippy toe a little bit it'll throw it off as well so what you want to do is let's say this is your stance right here get the composition set and when you're leaning to the left because you're going to be leaning to the left or right your preference when you're leaning you shouldn't move your height the only thing that should be moving is the angle of your camera so as you're moving along the same plane which this slider is representing the only thing changing between your two shots should be a slight change in the camera angle. So for instance, if you take your shot right now, like right here, and you're, as you're moving along the same plane, the only thing that should uh, change is the camera angle. And you don't have to make such a drastic change or even move drastically left to right. It could be small incremental ones, and you can take various ones too. So it doesn't have to be just a two shot thing. You guys can also do it as three shots. And if you want to do three shots, it just adds more dynamic. One crucial tip I forgot to mention is actually composition. So let's say this is our image, for example, and we've put our subject right here in the frame. As we're moving along the plane, that person is also going to move. So our goal as we tilt the camera is to put them back in the same spot that they were in the first frame. So this is allowing us to get two different perspectives of the same shot. And this creates that GIF effect. So we're gonna do it right now for demonstration so you guys can see. And also have your model hold the pose so you could practically get the shot twice. To know that you got the photo, what you could do practically is go on the playback and go back and forth to see if it makes that effect. And that's how you know you can move on to Photoshop. All right guys, so now we're in Lightroom and as you can see, I already have both of the images that I'll be using opened up. And I've also applied the same edit to both of them. The reason why is because you want your edits and images to stay very consistent. So when we take it into Photoshop, it has a very smooth and natural transition when we make the GIF. And I'm gonna toggle back and forth so you guys can see how the camera angle slightly changes, but the model is centered and holding her pose. I know it doesn't look that great right now, so we're gonna smooth it up and finish it up in Photoshop right now. So once Photoshop has loaded up both of your images, what you wanna do is work into one tab. So I'm gonna drag this layer and drop it onto here. And now that we have both images into one tab, what you wanna do on layer one is change the opacity and bring it down. This makes your photo transparent and this helps us because we're gonna overlap both of the photos so it looks like one. So now what I'm gonna do is hit the move tool and just move it around so it looks like it's one photo. And sorry guys about the lagginess, bear with me. Apparently it's been like an Adobe problem, but I, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get as closely as possible with the move tool. And then I use the arrows just to get a little bit more accurate. And by arrows, I'm talking about the arrows on the keyboard so I could make smaller adjustments. And this looks about good. So now what I wanna do is hit Command or Command Zero, which zooms out completely. And the next step is to go back to Opacity, put it back to 100. 
now that we have that finished what you want to do is go up here on the screen or like on your desktop it says window click on that you're gonna get this menu or this list and what you want to hit is timeline so we're gonna get this pop-up right here down below and what you want to do is hit create frame animation okay so this has created a frame animation which is how we're gonna make the gif and what I like to do is put it at 0.2 seconds what this means is how long it's gonna stay on this image or this photo until it moves on to the next one and this works really well with, well for me I like to, that's practically what I always use okay so the next step is to create another layer and since the first layer is seeing only layer one now for the second layer what you want to do is hide a layer one so it sees the background layer so now it's going to be going back and forth between those two photos and we're going to repeat, uh, repeat this process. So now we got to put this layer one and um, show it one more time and make another one and now we're going to hide it. And to speed up the process, what I like to do is hit shift and click all of these layers. So select all of them and then hit this create layer button. So it just duplicated the process of what we just did and I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to click on layer one, shift, click layer eight, create that process one more time. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you're going to be posting on Instagram, it requires at least three seconds for a video and this will be a video. Okay. So now that that's finished, what, before I move on to the last step, which is exporting, what I'm going to do is change the image size. The reason why I'm going to change the image size is because when I export, usually, usually the quality is too high that it can't export it. So I'm going to hit command option I, which is image size. But let me actually cancel this because in case you guys um, want to know another way to do it is you go up here and it says image size. So once you click image, go to image size. And since mine's a horizontal photo, what I want to do is change the highest or change this one to 10. And if you shot yours in vertical, what you want to do is change the height to 10. Okay, once you have that, just click OK. And it'll resize your, your GIF. Okay, and the last step is to export it. So to do this, you go to File, Export, Render Video. I never change any of the settings. And it says uh, MP4 because it's going to be a video. Select the folder that you want to drop it onto. And once you have everything selected, like where you want to save it to, just click render. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the finished product right here. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And also feel free to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below and I'll make sure to reply as soon as possible. You guys can also message me on Instagram and I can reply through there as well. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.